Salzbacher's executive chef, Calvin Matthew, grew up in the Virgin Islands. Living in a household of eight people, he learned early on how to stretch a meal. Well, he now serves hundreds of thousands of Jacksonville's homeless every year. Amid the pandemic, food scarcity, inflation, and a loss of volunteers, all of that couldn't stop Matthew and his staff from, as he calls it, serving souls. Meet today's 12 Who Care honoree. You know, before, I came to this environment. You would see homelessness, and you just weren't attached to it. I mean, if we all could be honest, we sometimes we just walk right by. And now, since I've been here, some relationship have formed. But these are real people, and you hear some of the stories, and then you, you know, it just it it, it kind of it saddened you a little bit. But then, you know, I, I took the opportunity to say, okay, I'm here now. What can I do? How can I give back and what I had was my talent and I just I poured it out. Feeding Jacksonville's homeless, a task that grew amid the pandemic. Yeah, look how beautiful this meal is. The number of people served, the associated risks, but not the number of helping hands that significantly decreased. In 2020 on March 18th. Executive chef Calvin Matthews' bustling kitchen. Vegetables? Yes, yeah, that's good. Was void of the dozens of volunteers he had grown accustomed to. I do remember that day. It was um, very confusing. It was scary, you know, just like, I was scared just like everyone else. But I knew that I still had a responsibility. And, and my responsibility is to take care of people who struggle to take care of themselves. Salzbacher's staff took care of each other in order to serve hundreds of thousands of people who need help. Every staff member was on duty that day just to make sure we got the meals done. The, um, our dental department, our advocates, everyone pitched in where they can, when they can. Two years later, the effects of the pandemic can still be seen and felt. Inflation, high food prices, tight budgets, increased need. But Matthews <laughs> won't compromise. I try to tell people we, we are serving souls. Meals. Each one of those meals are attached to a person, a child, or somebody's mother. Just returning a little bit of dignity to people you know, through food. I mean, that's what we, that's what we do. Chef Matthew and his team served more than 480,000 meals since 2021. In spite of it all, during the height of the pandemic, Salzbacher's kitchen never closed.